Earlier this morning, I talked about the fact that for infinity, or for infinite, if you will, for infinite, uh, I know I pronounce it wrong sometimes, but for infinite, uh, FA, if you will, was hacked back earlier this week around uh, late Monday night, August 19th, and mostly into August 20th, uh, up till recently. Uh, the reason I say up to recently, and this is a bit of an update as well, is because for Affiniate, um, FA, if you will, is back online. They are back online. Um, you know, they, they seemingly look, you know, like nothing's really changed, but obviously you could tell that, you know, they, you know, they had to do some rebuilding and they probably still are behind the scenes. But during this time, we, we, we found out, and I was, there was actually some other YouTube videos out there as well, and other articles talking about this, believe it or not, online. Yeah, there were articles. There were actual legitimate articles online, some notable ones, maybe not so notable, uh, that were talking about this because this is a big deal. You see, Fur Athenian, uh is part of a bigger um, web, you know, bigger web <laughs> server, and I do apologize for that notification there. I do apologize for that. You're going to probably hear those once in a while. Uh, notification vibrations. I do apologize. Uh, but anyway, like I said, for Infinite uh, is part of a bigger web server. Uh, it used to go under the name web.com, or at least that's what it was part of at one point, but it's part of a bigger web server. And apparently this attack was perpetrated by somebody um, I'm not going to say who they are. You can find out more information if you look it up online, and there are videos talking about this. Uh, but basically, this person uh, went and, as I mentioned, they hacked uh, for Infinient FA's uh, site. They hacked and got control of their social media, x.com account, and basically just um, tried to... I guess basically try to use it to their advantage because apparently what they did to the site, from what I'm understanding, is they basically hacked it and rerouted it to a site that was like a scam. It was a scam for fish or, or something like that. And then, you know, as far as, uh, for, as far as, far as Infidian's uh, um, X account or X.com account, Basically, this person also hacked that, and they put a link there that led to Kiwi Farms. And <laughs> this is where basically a lot of people were really like clued in as to what happened outside of finding out through Inkbunny.net, DeviantArt, YouTube, and so on. Um, because Kiwi Farms didn't even know what was going on. They were like, what's going on here? Why are you being led to us? What's happening and everything? So even they were like thrown off by this. And again, I think that's what kind of clued a lot of people in that, yeah, the site got, ha what the site got hacked. Oh, it wasn't just the site that got hacked. It was everything associated with Fur Affiniate that got uh, sabotaged. But what I mentioned earlier in the original audio video uh, podcast, if you will, is somebody at inkbunny.net said that it was done by a group of anti-furries. Or in this case, it sounds like one anti-furry. And the reason I say this is because this person, um, I don't know if they were, uh, you know, they were doing this, you know, as part of a group or they were doing it alone. But this person basically, um, like I said, not only did they get a hold of the Fur Infinite uh, website and hack it, if you will, but they also, as I said, got a hold of the X.com account for FA. And what they did, uh, essentially, is not only did they put a link there to Kiwi Farms to really, you know, continuously screw with, you know, the people that run for Infiniate, uh, or for Infiniti, or for Infiniti, um, if you will, easy for me to say, FA, not only to screw with them much more, but they also used... Uh, the social media account to, you know, basically post discouraging and disgusting remarks about, you know, Fur Affiniate and mainly the members of the furry fandom and community. Yeah. They, they went, like I said, they went as far as to not only hack the website, use it to reroute people to a phishing scam or something like that, 
but they also hacked the X.com account to essentially use it to reroute people to Kiwi Farms, which even through Kiwi Farms, of course, like, you know, what's going on here? But also they wanted to use it to, you know, post disparaging remarks about the furry community and fandom. You know, remarks like, oh, you're disgusting freaks, you're this, you're that. You know, the typical kind of stuff you would expect out of anti-furries, you know, people that don't understand or don't want to understand or are just, as I said earlier, they're just a bunch of trolls that just like to cause mischief. You know, very negative, troubling mischief. Well, basically, long story short, the people at, you know, Fur Affiniant or Fur Affiniate, Fur Affiniant, um, F.A., you know, they, you know, spent the next few, they, well, not next, but they spent the past few days working on trying to get the server back online, trying to get the site back online. And obviously they had to go through all these different kind of channels. They had to also um, talk to the people that, you know, the site, the, you know, that run the server that the site is hosted on. They had to do all this. And finally, as of several hours ago, Right now, it's, um, let me see, it's about 2.38 p.m. Pacific. So about around uh, two hours ago, uh, local time, which would be about 12.38 Pacific or noon Pacific, actually, the site site went back online. People were talking about this at inkbunny.net. Inkbunny.net was keeping us informed about it, along with Fur Infinient, once they got the um, X account back. You know, you know, well, mostly inkbunny.net. Uh, they were keeping us informed as to what was going on, you know, uh, even through their website. And like I said, as of around noon local time, uh, Pacific, if you will, today, August 22nd, the website went back online. It's back to, you know, what you're used to seeing. And hopefully it'll stay that way. They even had a message saying, you know, something along the lines of, you know, they got that, that basically the site is theirs, you know, and or something like that. Um, they're also going to use the site to pay respect, you know, pay respects to the memory of the founder who went by the username, uh, I think, Dragoner, Dragoner. Uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, um, who unfortunately passed away uh, about a week, couple of weeks ago due, you know, losing a battle, I think, to, to uh, some kind of disease. I think it was cancer or something. Can you correct me. You, uh, in the comments if you can and prayers and condolences go out to Dragoneer's uh, family uh, in this time uh, but yeah basically they're planning to dedicate the site the usage of the site in his memory but like I said they also ha- uh, put a message under that saying you know all basically the site is theirs and theirs alone and basically, basically sending a message of hey you're not going to do this again now I have now. I have no doubt that the people behind FA for Infinite, or for Infinity, uh, are going to uh, work, you know, diligently, diligently, easy for me to say, work diligently to um, ensure that another hack doesn't happen. But again, the information that I found out during this time, and I'm sure a lot of you found out as well, is. Yes, it was indeed, because if anybody was still suspicious whether or not it was the anti-furries, the people that just are against this, you know, against any fandom they don't understand or, you know, they're just trolls that like to cause mischievous trouble. Um, If you were wondering about that, whether or not they could be behind it, well, you know, well then confirmation confirmed, if you will, because again, like I said, from what we, from what I heard, I looked it up more. Looked at when well, I was looking up more of the information. A lot of other people were looking up the information, and people have reported on here on YouTube and other places. Uh, the person basically, along with others, I'm assuming maybe on their own, not really sure, took over the site basically late Monday evening into Tuesday morning. Took it over, tried to reroute it, make it into a, a site for a phishing scam took over the social media X account, used that to post disparaging remarks about the furry fandom and such, and then tried to route it to the Kiwi Farms. And and even Kiwi Farms was thrown off by that, like, what the heck, what's going on here kind of deal. 
You know, so, yeah, it definitely shows you that obviously if people, like I said in the previous audio video, if people don't want to take the time and be considerate and, you know, just sit down and contemplate and think to themselves, okay, you know, kind of ask themselves the question of, okay, what, why is this fandom so beloved? Why are people so into this? Why do they, why do they want to support it so much? You know, there's got to be a reason. There's got to be a positive, good reason. If people don't want to do that and instead they just want to crap on the fandom because they don't understand it or anything or they feel it's weird and all that, you know, then then obviously either they're just bored and they have nothing else to do in their life or, or again, are these kind of people, they could be, they could be, like I said before, they could be just young kids. Young kids that don't think the furry community or the furry fandom, um, you know, it's cool in their minds and they just want to bring it down. But whatever the case is, thank the Lord that Furry Infinient is back online, is running again. And like I said, I have a feeling the people behind the site, they're going to be working diligently, diligently, easy for me to say, like I said, they're going to be working diligently and effortlessly night and day to ensure that this doesn't happen again. Because if it does, then obviously they're going to have to come. The obvious, if, if I'm Thurifinient, if I'm the people in charge of FA, if this happens again, then I have to find a new server, a new hosting server, if you will, to have the site on. Because, you know, this is, as I've alluded to in the last video, uh, audio video. This is not the first time they've been hacked into. They've been hacked into several times throughout the years. The last major one was in 2016. They've had other uh, situations, not as bad as that one or this one. But, you know, if this keeps going, if I'm the people at FA, I would just try to look for another server, another host server, and move the site there because that way I can ensure, hopefully, I won't have to go through something like this ever again. But again, thank the Lord it's back online. I even logged back in. Everything is everything on my on my for Infinient FA page is still there for my uploads and my favorites. So thank the Lord for that. And uh, yeah, obviously it was pretty much as I mentioned confirmed. It was someone that just doesn't understand the fandom or the community and thinks it's weird, disgusting. You know, they, you know, this, I mean, this is, I mean, they said it themselves when they took over the X.com uh, for Infinite um, page. You know, they said it themselves and they used it to post disparaging remarks. You know, they think, you know, the fandom's disgusting, the freaks. And that's not true because that, if that was true, you know, if that was true and everything, I don't think this fandom would even be around today because people, because everybody would be feeling the same way. To the point that the fandom may not, be, you know, the furry community and fandom won't even want to show their faces if that was the case. As I've said before, what this is at the end of the day for a lot of folks is escapism. You know, there's a, like I mentioned, there are people here on YouTube and social media, you know, Twitter and such, that will put on their anthropomorphic, you know, fursuits or costumes they create or commission to have created, and they will go out and pretend to be that character. They will basically take themselves out of the equation and be the character that they are dressed up as. And that's a form of escapism, you know? And that, I think that's a great thing. I really do. I think it's a great thing. I mean, I mean, I mean all people are doing is just having fun and, and feeling good about themselves, and that's it. That's it. It's, you know, and that's all you can ask for, especially in today's world. That's all you can ask for. But yeah, in closing, the Furinfinient uh, FA site is back up. Thank the Lord for that. My account's good, and I'm certain that anybody else that has an account there, you know, it's good as well. And like I said, I got a feeling the people behind this the site are going to be working night and day, almost 24-7, to ensure that this doesn't happen again. And if it does, I look into another server, another hosting server that has more protection against this kind of a situation. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. What did you think about this whole situation with Fur Infinient? Um, how did you feel about you know what happened? 
you know, do you think maybe they should move in, on to it, move towards another server, you know, or move the site to another server, which is more, which has more protection against this kind of stuff? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you guys had accounts there too and whether or not your accounts are still intact when it came back online. Love to hear your thoughts on everything. Uh, like I said, comment below all of that. Also, click on the video. Uh, click the like. Uh, click, click like on the video. It helps me out. Also, click on that bell for notifications for upcoming content. Subscribe to the channel. Also, click on the link in the description to my Teespring store for merchandise you can't get anywhere else, as well as click on the links to find my content elsewhere here on the internet. But guys, for a finient FA, it's back online. Thank the Lord for that. And until then, I will talk to you all later. But yeah, give me your thoughts on this whole situation.